Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Anthony Pratt, the Director of Forecasting for Polk of America. I've heard recently that Germany might be in a line to go into a recession. What are you hearing? Well, that would be in our downside scenario. Uh, in fact, Germany's been one of the brighter spots. I say brighter because Germany actually saw a reduction in sales last year as well. In fact, Western Europe saw a reduction of 8.5% in, in uh, vehicle volume last year. And uh, Germany, I believe, was just under 2%, with the UK being the only country to realize a growth in Western Europe. Mm -hmm. Western Europe in particular have, will continue to have challenges. Uh, this year we're uh, predicting that Western Europe will likely be down again another one to one and a half percent. Eastern and Central Europe is the bright spot in Europe I would say primarily uh, driven by Russia and uh, we're anticipating Eastern and Central Europe uh, collectively should do and see an increase of roughly five and five to six percent. So overall Europe will likely be flat this year uh, continues to see a lot of challenges uh, and then maybe begin to be, see some modest growth in, in beyond 2013 and maybe see those uh, 18 million ranges they once enjoyed pre-recession in the 2016-2017 time frame. I talked to Sergio Marchionne yesterday and he has been trying to get all of the groups in Europe together and figure out that overcapacity. Sure. He says it's still not happening. Do you see any signs that it will happen just like it had to happen in the United States? Well, the big difference between the United States and Europe is the United States, well, North America, I guess I would say, uh, is made up of three countries and it's much of the market share and the capacity reduction that had to take place was with three companies, the domestics, GM Ford and Chrysler. Mm -hmm. Europe is a much different situation. You have a collection of many, many countries with different policies. They will collectively agree, yes, we need to reduce redu uh, capacity, but they want they want you to do it because I don't want to do it in my backyard. Yeah, or, or they want someone else to do it first. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Now, and, and you, now you say that there's an overcapacity issue. That's true for a region, but it's not necessarily true for manufacturers. We continue to see some manufacturers do better than others. Name the ones that are doing well. Sure. Um, Audi and BMW has continued to do well in, in, uh, in Europe. In fact, in 2012, they saw positive gains in volume. They continue to do well uh, financially as well, as we see you know, Volkswagen as a company, uh, both the Audi and the Volkswagen and other brands, continues to do well and expand. Increasingly, the luxury models or luxury uh, badges expanding into Asia, China in particular, has become a very important market to a lot of uh, Western manufacturers and the luxury models in particular. Sounds like maybe some of the car companies that are saying Germany might go into a recession are some of the ones that maybe aren't doing as well in, in Germany. The manufacturers that uh, suffered the most in Europe last year are those southern-based manufacturers. Uh, mm -hmm. Renault, uh, as a division, of course, they're doing, you know, they have the benefit of the partnership with Nissan. And then Fiat also has saw reductions last year, too. Opel? Opel, down to. Um, so there are some... And, they're, and some of those manufacturers are addressing their capacity issue. Opel, for example, they've made some announcements uh, to uh, reduce capacity. In Bochum, Germany is one example. For example, they're, they're closing that plant. Ford is closing some plants in, uh, in Europe as well. Uh, but the union situation in Europe is much different, and uh, they, uh, it presents significant challenges for a manufacturer to exit a market. Uh, compared to the United States where it's relatively easy to do that. Is that because the union in Europe is like the UAW of old? I would say the union in Europe is stronger than the UAW of old. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you.